Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. What you got for us? All right. My actor is Corey Feldman. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> From the 80s. Okay. So my movie A is The Goonies. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the events of The Goonies happen. They're on the beach. They're going to be able to save all their houses because they found all the jewels, right? Uh-huh. So uh, mean old Mr. Perkins, he can't take their land and their houses anymore to build a golf course. So after The Goonies, uh, Mouth was his name in that movie. He uh, he goes back to Mikey's house. You guys remember Mikey? He was uh, Sean Astin. Yeah, okay. Goes back to Mikey's house with uh, with Mikey and Rosalita, the non-English speaking uh, housekeeper uh, from that movie, who was uh, told to care for them while Mikey's parents handled all the banking bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Which actually went on for uh, for two or three days because all the parents ended up actually fighting over shares of the gems that the kids found. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Mikey and Mouth are up in that same attic where they found uh, One-Eyed Willie's map, okay? And while they're alone together, Mouth uh, confides in Mikey uh, what his wish was that he took back in the wishing well. Remember that scene where he's like, yeah, I'm taking this one back. This one's mine, okay? I'm taking them all back, <laughs> all right? And his wish was to kill Mr. Perkins, <laughs> okay? But not only because of, like, the, the housing takeover bullshit, you know, to build the golf course, but also because a year ago, uh, he walked in on his mom blowing Mr. Perkins. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Who then just laughed and called their whole family uh, pathetic trash, especially his worthless <laughs> whore mom. <laughs> Ouch. So uh, they're sitting there and Mikey's like, Jesus, man, what the fuck? <laughs> right then, Esmeralda walks in and in perfect fucking English says, all right, get up, you pieces of shit. All right, and she holds him at gunpoint. Okay, and then she takes him downstairs. All right, uh, where they find two masked men who then club them unconscious. <laughs> okay, they awake. All right, locked in a fucking crate. Okay, yeah. Uh, in the crate with them is just a bunch of granola bars and like cans of Pepsi. All right, <laughs> they're in there for four days. <laughs> they can tell that the crate uh, is on a truck bound for God knows where. Right. And uh, all their screams, you know, whenever it stops for gas, they just go unheard. So when the box is finally opened up uh, four days later, the smell of piss and shit is horrendous. <laughs> okay. And the boys are dragged out. Okay. And they're thrown on the floor and they look up and they see the two masked men. And then they're dragged down into a fucking cellar and they're chained up to the wall. Okay. And then on the walls, there's like graffiti and, and marks and messages written by the hundreds of boys that have been chained in there before. Oh, God. All right. Yeah. Okay. Something fucked up happened, and they have been sold into the sex trade. Okay. <laughs> so then the boys, the boys are crying, right? They're like, where are we? Why are you doing this? And then a voice just says, you're home. Well, your new home anyway. And Esmeralda steps into the room, okay? And she says, until I can find a buyer for you two little bastards. <laughs> Now shut up and don't make me cut your fucking head off. <laughs> okay. Later that night, two more boys are, are added, uh, one of whom looks very, very sick. Okay. The other boy is crying and he's talking in Spanish, right? Now remember, Mouth spoke a little Spanish uh -huh. in the Goonies, okay? And Mikey says, uh, what's he saying? What's he saying? And Mouth says, he says he wants to go home. All right. And speaking with the boy, Mouth finds out that uh, the boy was stolen from his bed that very night and then brought here. Mouth says, dude, okay, so where are we? What town are we in? And the boy says, Tijuana. <laughs> so now they're in Mexico. <laughs> A day or two later, Esmeralda brings in uh, some rich white guy, right? Um, you know what? Let me back up. <laughs> <laughs> They're wearing blindfolds. Okay. Okay. All right. So they can't see that the boy's very sick, but they can hear it. All right. And uh, Esmeralda brings in this rich white guy uh, to choose a boy. Okay. And uh, he's really, he's really, uh, you know, creepy sounding and shit. And Esmeralda says, uh, see anything you like? And the man says, that one. Okay. And he points to the sick kid in the corner. And Esmeralda says, 5,000. Okay. The man says, I want to try before I buy. Okay, and the boy just gets dragged out of the cellar. Good okay. Lord. Upstairs. Okay, music <laughs> begins to play. 
All right. And the sound of multiple grown men fucking screaming is now heard and there's gunfire. Okay. And it's all fucking chaos happening upstairs. Right. And then, uh, the chaos fucking dies down and the music just screeches to a fucking halt. All right. And then the sick kid walks back into the cellar, pulls the blindfolds off of the boys. All right. They look up to see him totally covered in blood and smiling. And he's got yellow eyes. <laughs> all right. And they're like, what the fuck? And he's like, let's go brothers. He breaks their chains, you know, with his hands. And he says, we're done here. And then they go upstairs and they pass the dead rich guy who they now see is Mr. Perkins. <laughs> okay. The two masked men have been torn apart and are all over the room. Uh -huh. All right. Esmeralda is now petrified with fear and she's just huddled in the corner, just fucking shaking. And the, the yellow eyed boy hands Mikey the gun and he, and, and he, and he points at Esmeralda. Mikey can't do it. He can't shoot her and he just starts crying. The Mexican boy uh, who was talking to him in Spanish then tries to run for the door, but the monster boy just fucking grabs him and bites his fucking throat out. Okay. The boy, the other two boys are crying and they piss their pants. And then the monster boy points at Esmeralda and then looks at Mikey and says, now. And Mikey looks at Esmeralda and then back at, at Mouth and he says, why Mouth? Why? And then he just puts the gun to his own head and fires. Okay, Mouth falls to his fucking knees crying. You know, his best friend just died. All right. The monster boy now hands him the gun and he says, now, pointing at Esmeralda. Mouth shoots the boy. Okay, shoots him a couple of times. Fucking does nothing, right? Uh -huh. Then the boy fucking roars at him with a fucking mouth full of fangs and screams, no! And Mouth just fucking shoots Esmeralda right in the face. <laughs> fucking kills her. Then he goes over to Mikey's body and he's crying. He's crying for his best friend. You know, he looks up at the monster boy and he says, are you going to kill me now? And the boy says, not if you join me, brother. And Mouth is crying. He's just fucking crying. He's like, I'll kill you for this. I'll kill, for, kill you for this, you fucking monster. I fucking swear it. And then the boy just says, well, I'll be waiting. So then time goes by and Mouth <laughs> lives in the fucking streets. Uh -huh. Fucking Mexico, okay? And he just spends all of his time looking for this fucking vampire, right? And he spends it years, okay? And then he, he, he he's friends with a whole bunch of other street rats and shit. And he eventually becomes best friends with another one, okay? And then uh, confiding eventually in his, in his now best friend, whose name is Alan, okay? Uh, about what happened to him as a child. <laughs> Alan then replies, I've heard stories about a place called Santa Carla. <laughs> Which then leads into movie B, The Lost Boys. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, fucking Frog Brothers. Yep. All right. There you go. Not bad. You like that one? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Got a little worried there for them boys. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure where you were taking that. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. From here to there on Movies with Ron. <laughs>